Hey guys, just wanted to update you on what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks. I developed a strength and hypertrophy program. There's tons out there, but I developed my own based on my personal preferences and what I wanted to see out of a powerlifting and bodybuilding kind of combination program. And I thought I'd make that available to everybody because there was a high demand for it. When I talked about it online, a lot of people wanted to try it, so I figured I'd just um, put put that all out there. I'll link it down below. It'll be in a Google spreadsheet um, and you'll click on it and you'll download it and it'll go into your either phone or to your computer. I don't think it'll work on Apple because I don't know if the Google Sheets works on there. I'm not sure, but I know it works on Android. And um, me personally, I'm going to be at maintenance. I'm going to be at 145 grams of protein, 235 carbs, and about 50 fats. And the reason I'm doing maintenance is one, I'm tired of dieting. Two, I kind of am craving the strength gains. And three, I want to diet a month from now, but I want to diet on higher calories. And I figured taking a break through the holidays, it's been kind of a break anyway, and then carrying it over into this month and next month, that'll give me about about three months or so that I took off of dieting. And I've actually maintained my, my weight since about October. And right now it's the almost the end of January, so it's it's been several months where I'm just maintaining and kind of recomping in a way because recovering from my injury, I'm gaining a lot of strength back a lot quicker than expected and my back hasn't been acting up or anything, so I'm really excited about that. And so this program that I that I wrote is going to be great for the intermediate lifter. It's not going to be good for a beginner. Unless the beginner is focused on hypertrophy and wants kind of slow powerlifting gains, I don't know why you would want to run this program as a as a novice because you're you're gonna see slower gains than on pretty much any beginner program because you're gonna be adding weight to your lifts weekly on this program instead of daily, which novice lifters usually can add weight to their lifts daily. So, and if you're advanced, then you're not going to want to do this either because you're going to stall out mid, you know, mid cycle. So, intermediate trainees, you can use this. You can probably recycle this. I'm going to write a part two of the program once I'm toward the tail end of it. I haven't written it yet, but I, I have it in my head. And I know exactly how I want the last eight weeks of the program to be. This will be the first four weeks. And I'm really excited about it because I feel like this is a good fit for what I want to do, which is a mix of both bodybuilding and powerlifting. And I know a lot of people out there are tired of the same old recycled programs, and it'll be just a good, nice change. And you're going to hit PRs um, pretty much every week. That's the plan. And this program is a lot different than anything I've ever done before for any of my clients because a lot of my clients come to me for powerlifting strictly, but a lot of them have also transitioned into bodybuilding, kind of like just like I'm kind of transitioning more into the aesthetics field more than the the powerlifting side of it. And we're kind of, you know, trying out different things throughout our journeys. And I think that this is a good way to keep the strength aspect of it while still doing a lot more muscle building. And I think that this is also going to be really important for people to develop a really strong foundation for powerlifting because a lot of people neglect the different muscle groups and this will kind of tackle all of that and you're basically switching out the typical DUP style programming that I do which is higher frequency and less intensity for less frequency of the main three lifts and substituting higher intensity and doing three rep maxes, five rep maxes and at, at some point down the road you're going to start doing more one rep maxes and things of that nature so really excited about it. I'll link it below and please try it out and let me know how it goes. It's only four weeks of your life. I promise that nothing terrible will happen. You will not lose all your gains. At the very least, you'll gain some some strength, some muscle. And if you find that this program isn't enough volume for you, you can add one or two exercises a day. You should be fine. But anything more than this, I mean, the, you shouldn't really need any more than this 
as an intermediate trainee. So I hope you guys like it. Try it and let me know how it goes. It'll be a, a link. You'll click it. It'll download to your phone or to your laptop and it'll be an Excel spreadsheet and you can go in there and plug in your numbers and every every day whatever number you, you use you can just put it in so you could keep track and also download an RPE chart for yourself if you don't know what that is just message me I'll send it to you I probably should have included a picture graph in there for you guys but I didn't think of it so RPE is rate of perceived exertion and you're going to need that in order to fill in the appropriate weight for the exercises. So try it out. Let me know how you like it and thanks for watching. Bye.